morning, parents and graduates. Before we move forward in celebration, you can just double check to make sure that your cell phone is off or on silent. Thank you. I am honored to welcome you to the graduation of the New Vistas class of 2021. You'll find it is no surprise when I tell you that this group of young adults is exceptional. This group of scholars have excelled in academics in a year where that could not be the case. They have excelled in public speaking and in group collaboration. These individuals have remained connected despite six feet of distancing, staying home, masked smiles, Zoom connections, and a profoundly decreased social calendar. They walked into their last year at New Vistas with open hearts and positive outlooks knowing that the class who left didn't get Disneyland, didn't get graduation. They knew the possibilities of disappointment and they showed up anyway, in every single way that matters. Graduates, you have set a high bar for academics, social, emotional intelligence, mentorship, and legacy. While something inside all of us here at NBCE would love to keep you here for just a little bit longer, you are simply too exceptional to stay. It's time to share your strengths with the whole world. This may seem a little scary, but you are more prepared than you think. We will be right here waiting to hear the stories of what comes next. Today is a milestone. It tells you how far you've come. Keep learning, keep accomplishing, and keep venturing on through your journey. And now it is my privilege to introduce my partner and dear friend, Carol Elias. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'll try to talk loudly enough so that you can all hear me. Uh, welcome. It's been my good fortune to have worked with these truly exceptional students in a really unique way this year. Those of you who know me know that I work really hard at living a positive life. I always say it doesn't necessarily come naturally to me, but you can always tell that someone works hard on the things that they need to learn the most, and I do. Uh, as I watch these students adapt to new ways of learning and also new ways to solidify friendships, I knew that they were far, far, far more mature than I was at their age. They welcomed me into their classroom and showed me just how mature they were. We talked about the power of words, the words we share with each other, but most importantly, the words we say silently to ourselves. Together, we each chose a quotation that spoke to us personally and ultimately chose one word that will help us remember what is most important to each of us in 2021. Your children took their time and after several weeks chose that one word with special meaning in their lives. Today you will hear a little of their journey and I know you will be as proud of them as I am. My word this year was grateful and I just want you to all know how incredibly grateful I am for all of you and certainly for all of these wonderful students. I know that our world is indeed lucky to have students like this. And I know that these students, with the kinds of families they have and the background they have, I know these are the students who are gonna go forward and create a far more loving world than the one we have right now. My, sometimes one word can say it all. We love you guys. Thank you all so much for coming. Now I am proud to introduce our first graduate today, Lynette Alakathis. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lynette Alakathis. The quote I've chosen to share is, whatever your mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve by the holy name. And the word I've chosen to share is perseverance. This is particularly meaningful to me because I believe that if you want to achieve something, you can if you work hard and persevere. I chose this because I learned in my business that it is okay to not know something, but it's not okay to not try. For example, I wanted to finish my Caesar's English 2 before I finished 
sixth grade this year, I graduated, and I pers persevered and finished it. One of my most meaningful memories at New Vistas is when I stood along with my friends at the Empty the Science Fair presentation. It felt great to be part of the team and see all of our work displayed next to each other. And we were all excited to discuss it. I'm thankful for those experiences that helped me learn and succeed. I'm very lucky that my mom and dad always supported me in anything I wanted to do. I'm thankful that they enrolled me in New Vistas to get the best educational, ed education possible. I'm so grateful for, to them for always pushing me to do my best, but that they are always there when I need help or their reassurance. I thank them for helping me to balance having fun and at the same time taking my work seriously. I look forward to being at ACP and continuing to learn, and I hope to get some of the electives I apply for. Thank you.
For this year, we chose a word and a quote that we felt spoke to us for the power of positivity. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent by Eleanor Roosevelt was a quote that I found spoke to me. This quote makes me feel empowered, in control, and more confident. I went through many words, and I chose the word adapt when it came to me as I was talking to my mom in the car about our words. The word adapt reminds me that in every change I go through, I can persist and adapt to it. I have so many memories here at New Vistas, and I have to say, this part of my speeches was the hardest to write. Eventually, one memory popped into mind. I remember in second grade, where we had to raise a certain amount of money to either have an ice cream party, a pizza party, or go to McDonald's. I remember my brother and I pouring out our money and counting it. Everyone in my class wanted to go to McDonald's. And when Mrs. Hibner told us that we had enough money to go there, we were all elated. I felt like I was a part of something where people worked together. I would not be here at New Business if it weren't for my incredible parents. My father is hardworking and is probably the smartest person I know. My father knows that a good education is a giant part of life and makes sure I know that too. My mother is my hero. My mother has a heart of gold and helps people no matter what. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Although I am going to miss going to New Business, I am thrilled to attend the ACP and exciting and the exciting new adventures that I will have in life. Thank you. I am proud to introduce my fellow graduate, Gabriel Cuevas.
focus on my work and do my best. After I finish my work, then I can fly. I chose this quote because it is just like me. I find my happiness out of my hard work. My word is determined. I chose it because I've worked hard to be in my I have worked hard to be determined in my school term this year. I plan to work hard as I make my path down the road of life. When I was in Mrs. Rogers kindergarten, we would come into Mrs. Trepanier and Mrs. Berlin's big kid classroom every month and do crafts with the fifth and sixth graders. I remember feeling so proud of myself for working with the big kids and making fun crafts. Every time I was done making my craft with Michelle, my sixth grade partner, I would always look forward to the next to the thing we would do in the next month. But look, I'm one of those big kids now, and even though we do not have the chance to make projects with the kindergartners, I hope that I hope that they think of me as a role model to look up to like I once did. Thank you so much, Mom, Dad, for all the help you have given me over the years. I really appreciate the support that you have provided me. Thank you for making me the young lady that I am today. I cannot wait to make more adventures with you. I love you. Well, I'm I cannot wait to move on to my next experience in life. I hope that I can succeed in the future with the experience that this school has provided me with. I really enjoyed my time here, and I cannot wait to make more memories at my new school. Thank you. The next hardworking graduate is Dimitri Fenner. Here with several difficult projects. My third grade state report on Oklahoma 